Okay guys, welcome back to Aussie Motor Tips on YouTube. Um, today is a small job, but uh, needs to be done. Um, it's a repair job, it's not maintenance. Um, I have something broke on my car, on my Mini. Um, and what that thing is, is um, it's a brake pad sensor wire come off the brake pad. Um, I'm not sure what to expect, if I'm honest. I haven't looked yet, um, but I thought I'd, I'd save the occasion for this video. Um, and basically what this brake pad sensor does is when my brake pads go down to ridiculous level, I would say, like nearly near that, you would get a light on your dashboard to tell you to get them changed. Um, so, it's come away from the pad. Um, if you want to see my reaction to that, um, look at the brake uh, fluid change or replacement on my YouTube channel. I come across it doing that. Um, so this is the day after now. Um, it is safe how I've done it, but it's temporarily. It needs to be attached to my pad. That's where it belongs, so that's where it's gonna be. It may it may require a tap of super glue. I don't. That's the last resort. I don't want to use that, uh, but it may have to have that um, to keep it attached to that pad. So basically, all it is is a wire. There'll be an arch in the pad, and we just connect it to the pad. Done. Wheel back on. Um, that's that's the plan. But there's obviously a reason why it snapped off. Um, so we've got to check the condition of everything. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a shock. Ha again, have a look at my brake fluid replacement video. Um, when I get to that wheel, I'm like quite shocked. Um, so, but it's an easy repair. It is easy, and I've got no lights on my dash at the minute, so it may require a new sensor. Um, but yeah, let's just get it attached to something. It's a bit of a safety risk. So, uh, yeah, let's just go to the car and do this. I'll set you off on a GoPro, stationary hopefully. I'll just move you in and out for closer looks. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will be fine. Okay, so watch this space and I'll show you exactly what I'm all about. Brake pad sensor repair on a Mini 1 um, 1.6 2003 model, petrol. It snapped right off guys. Okay, so let's take this wheel off. This is the wheel that's affected. Yes, I have crazy knee pads on because I'm always on my knees working on a bloody car. <clears throat> okay, so once all of them are loose, you want to jack the vehicle up. This one isn't loose yet. Jack it up. Excuse my head. So you've got jack points. the whole menu is moving backwards eh?
get one of these? I'm huffing and puffing, it's because it's hot, yeah. Yeah, that should be alright. Oh. Then we'll take this off. Exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so that bit, that bit there, is meant to be attached to that. And you should be able to see that. Yes, yeah, so that goes in there. When I found it yesterday, when I undone this bleed nipple, it was just floating. So I wrapped it around the brake line for now. But now I'm going to put it back into where it's meant to be. Like again, I said it's a quick repair. And that just slots in there. I might not need any glue. It's interesting, there's a whole thing's kind of just shifted. So what you want is that in there. Not quite like that though, because Run that up there, and that there, so then that grommet comes over, and then that goes in there. There we go. Well, that was simple enough. I possibly think that is loose, though. So, yeah, that's quite loose. So you can see a bit shard off. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tack some glue in there so it stays in there but that's where it's meant to be guys this whole thing because it was out it shifted down it done that um, so I've put it back to I've just undone my work now there we go to there and then that is gonna go in there but I'm gonna get some glue just to tack it because that's loose no wonder it's come out it's snapped Okay, so that's that's what I was talking about. That's where it goes in. In there. And then as the pad wears towards the disc, this receiver will pick up its near the disc and then trigger a light on my dash. It's as simple as that, guys. Okay? See the pad? When it goes in towards the disc, it'll trigger... A, a signal up into my dash and then tell me that my pads are down that's all it is um, but I thought I'd show you this quick repair um, so I'm going to quickly get some glue we're going to tack it um, and then put the wheel back on okay so we're back again with some new glue Oh, there we go. That's, that's definitely come out fast. And that goes in there. Don't need to hold it because it will stay there. That's where it belongs. I'm pretty damn sure that's the orientation it goes in. I'm not 100%. Um, but either way, it's better than just floating around here. Okay, that's it sensor back in place now whilst we're here I am checking to see if the pads are quite equal which I can feel they are yeah they are ok we're good so let's bung the wheel back on Up 
here. Lead pass is so good. So you just do them all up, I would say just over hand tight. If you can. Just like so. Okay, and then we'll drop the vehicle. So we don't need, don't need the axle stand. But Always there for safety. Always there for safety. Always use axle stands, please. Up, but do them in opposite directions. So when you start here, you want to go there, then there, then there. Then it distributes the torque evenly. In an ideal world, you want to have a torque wrench. But I haven't got one. I've worked on enough cars to know what, what the right torque feels like. Okay. That's good, okay. And then take the key out. Okay, that's a lock key. Um, they're definitely all done up, aren't they? It's always good to make sure of this. You don't want to be going down the road and the wheel come off, which I've actually had before coming out of an MOT centre. Uh, and then cover, we've got this little notch here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's just bring you in if I can, which may be a stupid decision to make. So you've got a little notch right there. That needs to go between any of these. Any of them. Just pick one. Okay? So I just line it up and then press on the centre and that's all good. Oh hang on. No, no it's not. What's happened there? Oh, too busy filming. The lock key. <laughs> Always remain visual. In the house. Okay, well, as you would probably uh, agree, that was a small repair. It's literally just one thing. Um, it's probably harder to take the wheel off than it is to actually repair the broke 
sensor. One thing to bear in mind though is um, you need to make sure that when that sensor is back in place it's, the cable is not tight because if it's tight the vibrations are going to kind of work away again at that sensor and then it will just come off again you'll have the same problem. Um, so that is important. Make sure there is uh, sufficient slackness on that wire when it goes into the pad, um, which I did. I did do that. So, yeah, uh, things that went wrong and right, well, the wheel came off fine. It always does. Um, preferably do it with a torque wrench, the wheel. But I've never had any problems. You know, I've worked on many cars without a torque wrench, no problems. Um, yeah, there isn't much to report. There isn't much. It's, it's an easy repair. So um, that is how you put your sensor back on your car. Um, if you, you know, if you do see that lead just waving around there um, by any chance when you're doing your brake fluid or your brake pad change or something, or a garage comes up to you and says, we've changed your pad, sir, or we've done your caliper, but your um, pad sensor was broken off and they charge you an extra 40, 50 quid. I'm sorry, garages. 50 quid to put that back into his little, his little arch. 50 quid. I hope not. But they will, they will. Um, some garages will make, will make that sound a significant job. It's not. So that's what that is, okay? Brake pad sensors are just one wire going to one pad in a little arch. That's it, okay? So that's how you do it, guys. Keep an eye out for that. Um, I didn't know it was there until I'd done the fluid change yesterday. Now it's fixed, okay? Cheers for watching, subscribe and watch my other videos and, well, all that stuff. Have a nice day. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way